Hi everybody, Tug here, and today we're going to take a first look at another game. Now, this is a game in which you, the player, have been hired by a dungeon company to work as a dungeon master and protect it from rampaging adventurers and ne'er do goods? I don't know. We'll see how it is. Let's take our RNG cards and dash them against the dank halls of Legend of the Keepers. Welcome to the dungeon. As the dungeon master, you are tasked with protecting it from adventurers, from stealing the company's treasure. And this you can do through many things. You can see along the top there are different rooms assigned. There's a trap room, and then moving on from there, we're greeted with an empty room where you'll be able to cast different styles of spells against adventurers trying to dive deeper. And then, of course, what everyone's waiting for, combat. Now, combat is honestly the core of the game pay gameplay experience in Legend of the Keepers. It's where you see its influences from Darkest Dungeon and other games of the style just flipped. Now, the combat itself plays out in very similar styles, but it because of this twist, because of this flip, it feels different. It feels good. Instead of trying to protect your heroes from becoming demoralized, you're screaming at them and trying to make them more demoralized. You're thumping the back line, taking out the archers, taking out the healers, trying to do what you can to prevent them from getting any further. And it's a pretty rewarding experience. And what awaits them at the very end of the dungeon is your dungeon boss. And we can see the game is going to allow one of three different bosses to be played. The Slaveholder is the first one that is available. And as you progress through as the dungeon defender, you are faced with a schedule of weeks. And there are some weeks where there's a single event, some weeks where there's a choice of three or two, and others where you're forced down into one. This sort of mechanic somewhat reminds me of a Slay the Spire, where there's RNG in how you progress through the levels, not just in, uh, in the battles. So it actually gives it a nice twist and gives the player some agency in how it goes forward while still adhering to the RNG of a roguelite in uh, like this is. So there are different ways to upgrade your fighters, different ways to upgrade traps. There are random events where you can earn more money and things along those lines. And then of course, after random events, after acquiring new monsters or more money, it comes down to the bones of the game and what really everyone is playing for. And that's when adventurers enter your dungeon. You prepare with traps, you choose which enemies to place in each room, moving your backline fighters into a good position for backline, placing traps, trying to lay out an assortment of creatures that will wear down your enemies before they reach their boss. And combat plays out pretty well. At first, it's easy. You're going against newbie adventurers. You're going against adventurers that are level one or level two. They don't necessarily have a good group composition, but then you start running into veteran players, into veteran attackers who have a tank, a ranged DPS, and a group healer, and suddenly you realize, wow, this monster does a lot of damage, but I'm just, it's, they're just healing it right away, and I'm about to be overrun, oh god, maybe my spell can save me, it's kind of, alright, well, they're gonna make it to the dungeon boss, but he's super strong, right, I'll be fine, I'll be totally fine, everything is fine, this will be perfect, he's super strong, he's got a ton of hit points, they're kind of worn down, I'm sure we can get through this, but, oh, they do a lot of damage, and that healer's still there, and he's he's healing 
everything. And is this what it feels like to be on the other side of Darkest Dungeon? It is this? I don't. I don't. Hmm. Yeah. And then we come to the end of the roguelite run, and well, then you start a new one. Um, the experience of Legend of the Keeper was incredibly fun and satisfying. If you are a fan of games like Darkest Dungeon, like Slay the Spire, and roguelites in general, I think that you will genuinely enjoy your time with this game. And, well, if you're anything like me, you will end up wanting to punch that one-eyed...